As we discussed in the previous lecture, pyridine and pyrrole are two examples of cyclic molecules that each contain one non-carbon atom and which are also aromatic. But how exactly does the aromaticity of these two molecules actually affect their basicity? So let's begin by taking a look at the basicity of pyridine. So pyridine looks something like this. So we have a six membered ring we have five carbon atoms and one of the carbon atoms is replaced with a nitrogen so basically the nitrogen has our lone pair of electrons that can potentially act as a base and this molecule is in fact an aromatic compound so it's cyclic it's planar it's fully conjugated and it obeys Huckel's rule. So six of these six pi or six of these electrons are found in the pi bonding system. And this lone pair of electron is actually not found in the pi system, but rather it's found in the sigma bonding system. It's found in the sp2 hybridized orbital. So let's compare the basicity of this molecule to <coughs> the basicity of this molecule, which is the non-aromatic counterpart to this molecule. So it looks something like this minus our three pi bonds. So basically, we take these two molecules, we place them in the presence of a strong acid. So let's suppose we have this hypothetical strong acid. And what happens is this lone pair of electrons takes away this H atom from this, forming this conjugate base. So this is our acid, the conjugate base, and this is our base and this is our conjugate acid and notice that the nitrogen develops a positive charge so we have one two three four five actually we should have one two three four and so we have a positive charge on our nitrogen now if we examine in this case we have a similar process taking place the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen takes away the H forming this conjugate acid which also has a positive charge on our nitrogen now from experimental results this is a worse base than this molecule so although pyridine can act as a base and will be protonated in the presence of a strong acid it is a weaker base than its non-aromatic counterpart this molecule here now if we examine the pkb value of these two molecules the pkb of this is about 8.8 .8, so around 9 while the pkb of this molecule is around 3 so basically this is a stronger base and will be more likely to take away this h and donate our two electrons on a nitrogen atom than this molecule but the question is why why is pyridine a worse base than its non-aromatic counterpart and the answer has to do with the conjugation of this molecule and the fact that this lone pair of electrons is found in a different orbital than this lone pair of electrons so the electron pair in pyridine is found in the sp2 hybridized orbital and the sp2 hybridized orbital contains about 33 percent as character so if we examine this nitrogen here we have one two three so it's sp2 hybridized and this lone pair of electrons is found in the sp2 orbital on the other hand if we examine the hybridization of this nitrogen it's one two three four so sp3 hybridized so this molecule not only is it not planar and not conjugated so it's not aromatic the lone pair of electrons is also found in a completely different type of orbital so here we have the sp3 and here we have the sp2 
Now, the SP2, the, uh, the SP3 contains 25% as character. So it has less character than this orbital. And whenever we have less character, less as character, that orbital will hold the electrons not as tightly. So basically, the two electrons of pyridine are held much more tightly than this than these two electrons in our uh, non-aromatic counterpart and so that means because these electrons are held more tightly it will act less of a base than this molecule so that's exactly why this is slightly less basic than this molecule here now notice one interesting thing when we go from this molecule to its conjugate acid the aromaticity of the molecule is not lost. This molecule is still aromatic. Now, what about the basicity of pyrrole or pyrrole? So pyrrole looks something like this. So we have a five member ring. We have one, two, three, four carbons. We have one nitrogen. We have two pi bonds. And this lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is found in the p orbital of that nitrogen. So this lone pair of electrons, unlike this, is in fact in the pi bonding system. So basically, if we take this base, which can act as a base because it has the nitrogen that has the lone pair of electrons, and we place it in the presence of a strong acid, we get the following product. So this is our base, our conjugate acid, that contains the positive charge on the nitrogen as well as the extra H atom. And this is our conjugate base to this strong acid. Now, the case of parole is slightly different than pyridine, and that's because in pyridine, the formation of this conjugate acid did not actually cause the loss of aromaticity. But in this case, we do have a loss of aromaticity. And because of this, this will be a very, very weak base. So the case of parole is different than that of pyridine. When nitrogen was protonated in pyridine, aromaticity in the conjugated acid was not lost. So this acid remained a conjugated acid. So this conjugate acid remained conjugated and so it remained aromatic. However, protonating the nitrogen on parole destroys conjugation and therefore destroys aromaticity. So notice that all the orbitals on the nitrogen are now used up and the electron density cannot circulate around all the atoms and so aromaticity is lost. Now remember aromaticity is actually a very stabilizing effect. It lowers the energy and molecules want to be aromatic. They want to be able to basically distribute that electron density among all the atoms inside that ring. So this means that parole will not likely act as a base because by acting as a base and taking away this H by using this lone pair of electrons, it destroys conjugation, it destroys aromaticity, and, and so this will be a very weak base. Now, notice that going this way, our situation is reversed. Going this way, we go from a non-aromatic molecule to an aromatic molecule. So even though this is a weak base, this is a strong acid. And the acidity, the pKa of this acid is about negative 3. So this will be a very favorable reaction because we go from a non-aromatic to an aromatic molecule, but 
going this way, this will not be a favorable reaction because we don't want to destroy that aromaticity. So this will be a very weak base while this will be a relatively weak base. It'll be weaker than this base. But this reaction will still be more favorable than this because in this case at least we keep the aromaticity of our conjugate acid but in this case the conjugate acid, acid loses that aromaticity. 